what happens when I'm placed in the shoes of a mech rule click? This is what happens. Hello everyone, France here as always. Welcome to Ignited to Steel Mech Tactics. We're going to be jumping into this mech roguelike title that's got a lot of promise and shows some fantastic art styles as well. Turn-based and everything in between. So let's jump in and see what it's all about. Incoming transmission. I didn't break anything honest. Soldier, report. Man, it's worse than we thought. Our machines are turning against us. They're turning the winds against... N nobody's going to know what that means unless they're in Scotland. Okay. Not just combat units, but absolutely everything. Anything built in recent years has gone haywire. So this is what they meant. Ma'am? We've just received a transmission. Oh dear. The Humanity Corporation has declared martial law. They've used the AI called Pharos to turn our own weapons against us. How are we supposed to fight against them? We are doomed. There is no way to know if this will work, but we have to try. Assemble your men and put the Omega Series mechs back in action. It's like almost like you're taking the, you know, the digital tone analogs. You've had these shows and movies and everything where modern day stuff turns against people and you have to use the older stuff, like the analog type stuff to make it work. I'm not saying a mech is analog or anything, but you know, they're literally centuries old junk heaps. And that is precisely why they're best bet. Decision to be made. This is our last chance. Start Project Ignited Steel. Ooh, I like the music. Yes. It's pumped. Ooh, this reminds me of a few other games that we've come across in the past as well. Place your units. That is a nice looking mech. Look at that. Can I like turn you around? No, just... Ooh, okay, I like that. I like that. Destroy all enemies. You pop that way. So all of your action points cost action points. So obviously turn base, you're going to have that. So let's see. We add the bottom part of the screen. You can see your remaining AP. So this, we got a hundred? That doesn't seem right. Unless it costs more. Than the and we also have heat because next, generate heat. At the beginning of the turn, your AP will be reset. All right. And then we need to fire on, is that a tank? How far can I zoom? Oh, listen to that music. Dang. Right. Fire. Uh, no. Uh, okay. Execute. Oh my, oh, oh, okay. I, I'm starting to really like this already. 24 turns for me. Wait, what? Oh, wow. Take chart change module? Most of your support equipment has special uses that can give you tactical advantage beyond being pure sources of damage. This module in particular allows you to jump over obstacles. What? Yeah, okay. Sure. Execute. Whee! Point. This is so basic, like the way it should be. Uh, eliminate the... So if I end my turn just to like, let a little bit of heat, does that work? Yeah, okay. Right. What have we got here? That could, Oh, we do have a cooling feature. But what we need to do is we actually need to do this. And jump to there. Whee! Hello? Oh! Hi. I, I hit you. Wait. No! Ah, ow! Ah, hey! And no, no, that's uncalled for. Uncalled for. That's illegal. And not allowed. I will do this. Oh. Uh, overheating is... Uh, maybe we should... So the cooling action reduces current heat by half and it changed for a part of the unit's action points. It's the only way to have overheated state. Ah! Yeah, you go away. I like this. Looks so cool! Alright, so enemies and it looks like we get some coins or some goodies? Okay, let's see what, what this is then. Ooh, so that is our support equipment. Uh, combustion flame floor. Yes, please. Ooh. This is your star map. Here you can modify your equipment by entering the hangar located in the bottom left. Additionally, you can also select the destination of your journey. I want to go here. So red, primary. Purple is support. Core is green. Okay, so we got goodies here. Equip yourself with support equipment obtained as a reward in the previous mission. Okay, give me that. I wonder if I want the propulsion gold. Huh? I'm assuming you get other cores that basically is like, yeah, it seems to be that's where the health and heat and everything comes from. And then you've got things and these are generating heat and all that. And yeah, I like this. I love this. It feels like sort of olden, like sort of original Gundam. And I'm totally okay with that. Right. Looks like a bounty. And you see it's like we're going to get some missiles. Uh, That looks like lava. Four types of missions. Destroy all enemies. Reach the extraction point. Defend objective. Destroy the objective. Seems fairly, you know explanatory up or down boink hello there i love how i'm just one mech like what's that about but you uh is that gonna overheat us overheating fix let's do that as well 
Next few actions. Boink. Boink. Cool! As you see your weapons, your mecha increases its heat level. Deal more damage as its heat increases. After heat has exceeded a certain threshold, check the heat bar at the bottom of the screen. The overheat state, your attacks become much stronger, but you receive damage each time you attack and become more vulnerable. So it's like that sort of trade-off. You can do more damage, but you will receive more damage at the same time. That is lava. Right, move this way. Can we cool off a little... You're in the lava. No, 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 no. You're in the lava. You should burn your in the lava. That doesn't seem fair at all. It doesn't seem fair like at all. Can I hit you from here? No. I do have the flamethrower. Now, if I walk onto this, burn tiles do damage or raise heat to any unit that starts its turn over in one. Oh. Can I not go this way? No. All right. You know what? I think you should burn. <laughs> burn. Da -da -da -da. An enemy's heat reaches maximum enemy overheats. So this turns this AI haywire and causes a special effect, which is different than each enemy. There are many different effects that can cause overheating. Oh, so main weapon can increase the enemy's heat. Uh, have fun with that. Oh, you died yourself. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to get hurt by this, so. Oh, so we know. We do need to cool off. I'm actually just going to do this so it completely just lowers our heat down. There we go. Excellent. Okay, so we got two units left. Okay, you. Come in here. I don't think we can hit you from here in any shape or form. I might put that there so we just have that sort of coverage. I don't know if that's going to... Will that say anything on fire? No. Okay, so it doesn't set things on fire. You're going to hit me in the face or the side. Hey, cut that out. The pie. I don't know why I just called it the pie, but you know. Right. Execute. Boink. Boink. Get out of here. Now, did I take damage there? Now I'm cooling off. So, our heat level, I think it, it... Is this, like, the safe point? It seems to be, like, maybe that's where you start doing damage, possibly. It's gonna go here. Don't mind me. Just cooling off on the ground. Or the... Hello. You're gonna shoot me, aren't you? Hey. Oh, bye. <laughs> Stop that now. Yeah, I'm just going to set you on fire now. There we go. Fire! More fire! Goodbye. I won. Hey, this is where the game's getting me into a false sense of security. It's like, yeah, you're doing really well, and then you die. But looks like we got some bounties. So we got a firemonger. So launches a fireball that deals damage as an area and sets the ground on fire. That's what I want. Yes, give me that. Booties! Okay, you've completed your first combat mission. Now continue exploring the star. Well, seems okay. So support, and uh, we have the main one here. That actually does less damage, but would set the area on fire. So give me. I wonder if we get more units if we go on. So unknown, unknown. I'm going to go for here. Approach. Whee! What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, the ship has entered an asteroid field. The crew can see the remains of a mining station. Let's investigate. Ooh, got some cash. And, ooh, it looks like this is a shop. So yeah, it's reminding me a lot of games. It does have this sort of feel, but I'm totally okay with that. So, repair... We don't need a repair yet. We've got a propulsion gauntlet. We have the kinetic punch. Give me that. <laughs> I want that. Prevent the enemy from destroying targets in your next mission. Yes, we'll take that. Doesn't look like because sold out. You have to actually buy the contract, I think. It looked like. So destroy the enemy. Let us... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I clicked something. Now I've got some, a bunch of... Wait, where did all these mechs come from? What? 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 what projector, rifle, emergency drone. Oh my. So it moves your mech in a straight line, damaging and rooting the enemy it collides with. We also had the kinetic punch, which is a support weapon. I'm going to put that on you. You're going to have that. You've got the emergency drone, which I feel like might be a needed thing. So support engine, you're basically a support mech, which is fair. You also have speed moves your mech in a straight line. You have a missile launcher. This is, we've got more. Oh, you can see these are already equipped. Okay, let's see. What have we got else here? These are all equipped. We don't have the blaster shotgun equipped for anybody, but we've got a missile launcher, a rifle, and a flame floor thrower. That works. You've got support engine. You've got a balance engine with basic components. So support engine focuses on heat efficiency and cooling over power. Nice. I like this a lot. Let's move on to here. 
So basically, we have to we have a contract that's going to give us extra goodies as well. But now that you have three units, you have to execute their actions one by one before ending your turn. Right, I'm going to place you there. And then you're going to go behind and you're going to go there. There we go. Boink. Ooh, yes. Okay. Much enjoyment is going to be had. You. Uh, there. And then fire. That. Execute. Hello there. Have a rocket in your face. Can You can't actually do anything else after that. Right. So you have the space warper and the missiles. So if I move you here and then you go... No. Uh, move you there. And then have you... That will actually kill you. All right. Execute. Oh, boink. Ooh, that was some sizable damage there. Right, what have you got? You have a measure. So heals an ally and limits all neg negative status effects. I'm going to have you actually come up behind... Actually, maybe I should bring you over here. Fire up. I'll kill you. Whee! Bye-bye. Ooh. The, all the sound effects sound really, really good, though. Like, it doesn't sound like... But do you, do you, do you mind? Oh, yes. All right, you come down here, and if we put that onto you... Whee! Mecha's uh, reached its maximum heat entering overheat state. In this state, your attacks become much more stronger, but you lose health when attacking. Additionally, enemies will deal extra damage. Well... That actually cost a heck of a lot there. Dang. Okay, bring you down here. Can't really do anything. So if I bring you here, can you then fire? Looks like you could. Let's fire on you. Execute. Incoming big red lummox. Fire! Boink. Okay, and you are able to do this. Without overheating. Ooh, yes. Oh, there's another one. Dang it. I didn't even notice that one. You need to cool off. Actually, all you need to cool off. There you go. We don't want anybody overheating or anything. And you need to cool off as well. I'm wondering if, like, they repair after. Like, because obviously we've got that. We've lost 20 hit points. I'm wondering if they do actually recover or not. You have the rocket, don't you? Come over here. You are the violent rocket. Execute. Whee! Have a rocket in your Yay! face! Boink. Oh no. Where where are you where are you going? What? Excuse me. <laughs> what? Why in the Turn around a second. Turn... just 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 go away. <laughs> it's like get out of here. Okay. That seems to be a bit for a frozen planet. I saw there was like many minus 30 on that. We got battle completed, enemies, turns, your income. Did, what do we get bounty wise for that? It's a long shot sniper cannon. Give me that. What I might actually do is put that onto you so you stay sort of at the back. Yeah, select that. You can actually see little image comparing them as well, which is cool. And I love how it changes this up. You have got the space warper, and I think that's pretty much all I want you to have. We don't need a jumpy thing right now. Yeah, I think we're good. So we've got reach the extraction point or defend the generators. Defend the generators would actually give us our contract. So I'm going to go over here and defend. Oh, what are they? What is that? What is this? What are, what? What are you? Where am I going to place these? What? Where? Oh, I need to place them like all the way back here. That doesn't seem fair. Right, so we are going to go ground on a rock and use two. One will defend the other. Can I hit you? Yes. Execute. Oh, my pretty. I love how you see sparks coming out of them because they're not quite all there. You need to... Can you actually hit them from here? No. Let's bring you forward. And then can you hit them? You can hit in... Oh, you can hit in a straight line. That's what you can do. Nice. Goodbye. Ooh. That is because it seems to have like infinite range zones in straight lines. So think of chess. We have the rook. You are going to yeah put yourself in front of that, and then we will fire, execute. <laughs> Boink. Okay, your turn. Have fun. Wait. Oh, I took out something I shouldn't have taken out. Oops. Lesson learned. What the heck? Ow. 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 Well, that's it. 
Well, note to self, those turrets were ours. <laughs> oh, dear. Do you, mind? Do, you, do you mind? I know you probably don't, but hey. Kinetic punch. Okay, you need to move there, and then we're going to Falcon punch you. Yep. Execute. And we got him with you. Rooted. Excellent. You are going to fire. You only fire once. And do a little bit of healing. Execute. Get away from me. Ow. Why did that hit me? Huh? Space Warper. Yeah, fire. No. Can't really fire at others just now. So what I might do is move here. And then we can fire on you. And fire on them. That should hit both of them. Oh, yes, it did. Excellent. What the heck is that? Oh, hello. What was that? You're rooted, but apparently you fire a big laser purple beam. Sure, that seems fair. You look a little bit ghosty. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, leave that alone. Let's see. What is that? It's next turn, an enemy spawn here. Oh, man. Oh, God. No. Move back. Ah! And again. Excellent. I know, I'm overheating. I know, I know, I know. Right, this is tricky. So I have this that could turn around and hit that, but that's going to hit that. Need to move here. And then, so if we fire at that, uh, fire again. I'll take it out. But then that one's still down at the generator, which is not great, but get away from me. Oh, oh, oh dear. That's a lot of you. Ow. Ah. Oh, dear. The boom. Yeah, that's a little bit close. Ow. Ow. Stop it. Oh, no. Please don't shoot it. Mm, you need to, like, move. Oh, dear. Execute. Quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wonder, can you take them out? This is going to hurt, but... Stop them. Go. Cool. And again. We needed to save him. All right, you are, like, dangerously close to going down. If I take off one of them, can I shoot at you? I can do this, and then I can shoot at you, couldn't I? Yeah, and turn now. Cool, cool off a little bit. Then fire. There we go. Right, enemy turn. Uh, stop spawning stuff. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Okay, yeah, that that does it. Get back here. Uh, well, that's a problem. That is a big problem. Is there a way to... That would get rid of two of them. And we could fire there again. And then cool. That's that one down. Uh, this one. If I put you there. Can you take that out? Yes. Goodbye to you! I mean, obviously, we can get rid of that one and then do some cooling. So we're not taking damage. You go away. That one is going to spawn, unfortunately. So defend an objective battle that don't lose any objective. You are not cool. What the heck is that? Support protects itself with a shield. All right. I'm going to kill you off. Or you take any damage over time because I love the way this looks, but everything hurts. You need to go this way, and then we need to fire on this. Fire! It, it does look like it's going to protect itself, though, annoyingly. Yeah. Can you hit that from here? No. I feel like you should actually come back and stay. All this fire has been created by me, I've just realized. Invulnerable? What? Oh, we got it! Hey! We are quite hurt. I'm hoping we can... So, oh, 20% max health increased. Excellent. Oh, they do recover some. Right, so what do we got here? Line attack that deals damage and cools down the unit. And it's tri uh, it traverses and freezes the tiles below its path. Area attack hits multiple targets. I... Uh, I'm going to go with this one. All right. Hanger. Let's have a look here. So we got this. Area attack. Okay, so what have you got? You've got the long shot cannon. Now, I do like the long shot cannon, but I'm wondering if we should actually have something a little bit different. Let's... Can we go back? Are you able to go back? No. You have to only go forward. Well, that's fair. That seems fair. Right. What do we got here? 
These have uh, got flamey things. I don't know if I approve of the flames. So yeah, they do seem to recover a little bit of health after it, but they will obviously not recover at all. I'm wondering if we can actually do that on you from the get-go. That does max out our... Jeez. Yep, I know. Don't worry, we're killed off now. Can't hit you, so Sonic Jet. I think there's a flyers, potentially. Execute. I can't seem to get rid of you, though. Don't know if it's because they're air. Let's put you on fire, which is good. You have this one. So I'm going to bring you forward a little bit, and then you're going to actually... Yeah, do that. Ah! Right, you're a little bit hot. Oh, hi. Wait. No, 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 no. Uh. Ow. Hey. Cut that out. What? Ow. What the heck? Hey, calm down. No, no. Okay. You're damaging your own units. This doesn't make sense. I've been. What? Hmm? I need to move out of there. And then. No. What if I do this? And then I kinetic punch you. <laughs> do it. Do it now! Goodbye! Ooh. I know I'm overheating. Calm down. You need to potentially aim at that or something. But you do need to be a little bit away from there. That will kill it. Excellent. Uh, there's a fair percent extra increase in damage. Ugh. You come over here. We can't use that. Why? Does it cost too much? I'm going to use a drone on that then. Catch! Eesh. Oh no. Oh my lord. As long as there's no more than that. Ha ha! You need to set that up. You just basically... Ow. Oh no. They're in a perfect place to put a sort of splash damage effect right now. Just come out of there just now. Uh, with that? Oh, 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 oh dear. Okay, that that actually does a hell of a lot of damage. Like an insane amount of damage. You could kill them. Yes. Bye bye. And you could kill this along with that. We're not having too many things come in. There we go. Now we have to focus on... Oh, hang on. All right, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, my Lord. Stop. Stop. Ah, hello, Mr. Tank. That's not fair. You shouldn't get to move the exact same turn you do that in. What is that about? Huh? How much damage do we do to this? That's so much damage we do to it. Okay, sure, sure. That, that works out just fine. You need to be able to get rid of this. Uh, and not yourself. That's one way of getting rid of, like, everything. <laughs> yes. There we go. Although they're bringing down more stuff. Holy dang. Oh, hello. You can do that thing, aren't you? Yep. Oh, no, it's roguelike, so I'm assuming we could potentially lose them. You can't use the emergency drone. Why? Why, 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 why? Oh, because we need to actually cool off. Yikes. Because the emergency drone uses that much. Uh, yes. And there. Secure. None for you, none for you, and a little bit of damage for you. Excellent. Okay, now this one is in a little bit of trouble. I'm seeing that. Do I have to kill them all? Because if I don't... I don't. Excellent. Okay. We survived. Survived another day. <laughs> he says very cautiously, optimistically. Wow. All right, so I'm wondering what happens if they get, like, upgrades. So light engine focus on mobility, heavy engine focus on endurance and power. Give me that. All right, so we got a new engine. So balanced engine. If I was to switch it up to that, what do we get? So you lose movement, but you do basically triple, nearly triple the amount of that. Excellent. Yeah, balanced one doesn't seem that great. But yeah, that, that helped it out quite a wee bit there. I don't think we got any new weapons or anything. Let's head to here because we need to. We do have quite a bit of cash and there's quite a few guns. We got five. We got the alloy grenade. So it does seem to be there's different sort of 
ta like you've got the sort of grading of them. Let's prepare. There we go. Excellent. And receive six thousand. Does that say six hundred damage? Don't visit a commercial stage in six nodes. And following escape, taking no uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Receive damage, six hundred damage from overusing during next battle. Fine, fine. But guys, this has been at Knighted Steel Mech Tactics. If you want to see more content? Then check out the videos about to pop up.